everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to separate a single STL into multiple uh, different objects to be able to uh, easily utilize the file for multicolor applications. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do after you load your single part uh, STL file I'm using Fusion 360, you're going to want to go to the uh, mesh tab if you haven't already. And then you're going to want to go to your selection options and go ahead and turn on your mesh palette. That's going to give you this new window over here that helps you select certain areas of the mesh. Um, and then for now, it doesn't matter so much what type of selection you're using, but I prefer to be able to just use window type and select a single one of these facets. You'll see it just selects that one individual component. And then over here, you'll see the grow slash shrink category. You can use shift plus the up key, or you can just click right on the icon. What that's going to do is actually grow your selection um, to reach, hopefully, all the way out to the extents or the, the nearest hard edge um, of your object. So if there are very small angles between what your selection is and what your um, you know, surrounding object is, it might not work as well. This will give you the option to grow that all the way to the edges of each one of those individual patterns. So once you confirm that it actually reached all of the edges, I'm looking at all of these individual parts where it meets with the um, outside of the, the object right now. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that nothing is um, accidentally missed. Um, this looks pretty good from my side. Um, and now that that selection is done and everything looks good to go, you're going to want to uh, go to the Modify tab. And there's this option to separate. You're going to go ahead and keep the faces you already have selected. Um, and the type, you're going to leave that on Select Faces. And then you're going to go ahead and just say OK. And that should, if everything worked correctly, give you two bodies. Um, one, which is the original, or sorry, the uh, selection that you just made, and then the other, which is the original body. If I turn off one of those, you'll see that it actually separates those out into two individual parts. Now, once you have those two separated uh, STLs, you can go ahead and right-click on the body, save as mesh, and save it as an STL. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the desktop and I'm going to just number this one and then I'll go ahead and save the second one as two and then I happen to use Prusa Slicer for a lot of my multi-material printing so once I load that up I'm going to go ahead and import the STL. Like I said, I'm just going to grab this number one and number two file. You got to grab both at the same time. You hit OK. And it should give you this, this pop up that says multiple objects were loaded from multi material printer. Instead of considering them as multiple objects, should I consider these files to represent a single object having multiple parts? You definitely want to hit yes here. Um, there were some scaling problems with this part, uh, but that aside, you'll be able to see that you get this nice um, multi-material, easy to modify part where you can just update the color of one of those components and it'll easily um, update to print. So yeah, hopefully this helped. Uh, and if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. But uh, this is something that you can apply to almost any type of STL that you might want to turn into a multi-part or a uh, multi-color part uh, to print. So yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.